this weekend. Your last chance to see the Huntsville Havoc take the ice at home. And if you're not hype, you don't really know if you should or shouldn't go. You don't live, eat and breathe hockey. Well, we got some people that are going to change your mind. Clay Coleman and Chaos here live in studio. Chaos, how you feeling this morning? You used to the cameras and the spotlight or does that make you nervous? No, he's used to the spotlight. <laughs> he's down on the ice, always keeping us hyped. Clay, good to see you as well. Absolutely. Been a good season this year. I hear fans actually broke the attendance record that was set back in 2018. What, what do you think contributed yeah. to that? It was a good run. You know, it's just, I think that as, as Huntsville's growing, I mean, and, yeah. people, and I've always said it, I say it every time, they, they, they move here from, you know, places that had hockey. So when they come here, they don't understand Alabama and Auburn. Yeah. It's like, oh, we got hockey. So they, they want to show up and hang out. And like I said, as the city grows, I just think it continues to get there. And, you know, not being biased or whatever, but I mean, we put, a, put on a good product. And you like, certainly we just do. Part of it. There's a whole group of people that, you know, from the ownership all the way down to, you know, even to interns and yeah. mascots and stuff like we that. We do great that work, Chaos. I think they job. all came to see you, honestly. I mean, and to see some good hockey, but I think chaos is, is the real show. You also, you guys also do a lot of fun fundraisers right. throughout the year. Any kind of favorite moments from those? Uh, you know, this year, it's just, it, it blows my mind that there, this year, $160,000 was given to local charities, which is yeah. crazy. You think of a hockey team, it's almost like its own functioning sports nonprofit. Sure, in a sense. yeah. Uh, in the 19 years with the Havoc, you know, over $2 million have been given to local charities. So wow. a complete testament to the fans. I think they're crazy. I love them to death. <laughs> Only the best people are. Well, I mean, like, for me, like my jersey one time this year went for twenty five hundred dollars, and I'm like, oh my word! Can I just reprint one and then I get some side <laughs> let's, money? Let's and run I this <laughs> back, do this a few times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So my wife didn't even think I'm worth that much. So I don't know. It's uh, pretty amazing. But like I said, just the fans are great. They, they the ownership and the coaches give the accessibility to the players that yeah. you don't get. I've been in other markets, and you know, even even other teams in this area, you don't get the accessibility to the players. Sure. Where our players are like, they love it. They're in it. They, they do. Sign and they're autograph. talented too. Yeah. I mean, they broke some more records this season. I mean, quite the athleticism on this ice. Yeah, Glenn has done an amazing job. It's his last season as the coach of the Havoc. He's going to move yeah. into the front office. Office, but Stuart Stefan will be the new coach will transition right there but they have found you know just not only good players but good quality human beings too I mean sure. I've, I've been with some of the teams in the past no offense to some of the old guys they partied probably a little harder than these guys do I mean it was like those guys are partying these guys are doing protein shakes no, so it's a, it's literally, a yeah. animal, I'm always you know? seeing them do they're like making burgers and stuff at different places around town doing charity charity work that's a re really good team you guys have built um, let's talk this weekend because okay. some special events are going on this weekend as well tell us what the next few days well, both are going nights like. these jerseys will be worn these are the 2018 and 2019 championship jerseys so it's kind of split down the middle uh, Nolan Kaiser who was one of our you know guys that was on both of the championship teams I think he played like 218 games he had 555 penalty minutes so he definitely a fan favorite favorite as far as that goes yeah uh, but Nolan's a great guy so they're going to retire his jersey uh, tomorrow night and then on uh, Saturday we have uh, kind of a handful of the guys that were from the 2018-2019 that will be there uh, that will be signing autographs they'll have their jerseys that they'll auction off at the end of the game and uh, just be a fun night to kind of end uh, what's a, a great season that we've got to keep our fingers crossed uh, the first yeah. set of playoffs you know with the busy city that we have we won't have we have home ice but it'll be at the iceplex Okay. Uh, for the first round, so hopefully our guys will pass through and then we'll be able to get back into the VBC for that. But, yeah, uh, It's a fun weekend, like I said, if you've never been, I tell people all the time, don't worry about understanding hockey. It is the best Just entertainment go. show in town. Yes, very much so. And they got great food at the concessions and chaos is running around and it's such a fun time. And again, playoffs, you said, start in just a few weeks. Next season, we're going to bring up before we let you go, 20th season for the Havoc. Yeah. So crazy. Not, I'm getting old. That's 17 years for me. I'm like, this is this is rough. But yeah, it's just amazing the this community has embraced hockey and yeah. you know, I've watched as different sports teams, you know, I want them all to succeed. And we got the soccer excited about those guys, the yeah. trash pandas. But you know, it's, it's one of these things place. like hockey for 20 years. It's yeah. been a consistent one through it all. It's such a cool sport to be a part of. Like I said, I've been to a number of games, and I, I was kind of like that outsider of like hockey, like what we we have that and we do. And I've we're been really kind good, of personally so. offended though. I did offer my my seats. We did offer you. box seats. For me. I know. Maybe this weekend. I, I, Does the offer pointed, still stand? They're done. They're there. I've always, but I thought was, maybe All she right. just doesn't like the havoc. I don't know what's going on. Or me. Maybe it's me. I do. <laughs> I do very much so. I think they're, I think they're telling me I got to go to break. And we're going to end on break on that note. Clay, Chaos, thank you guys for coming in. Havoc taking the ice this weekend. Thank you guys so much. We'll talk soon. We'll be right back.